we had uh, uh, requested uh, a committee consisting of uh, Mr. Bari, Mr. Rajan, and Mr. Mr. Uh, they are recorded. Now the registrar only role could be to tell, look here, you are proposing an amendment which is not in accordance with the constitution of India or which is in violation of the uh, rules already existing. And in that matter, they can ask for an, a, a, a note why it is so. And then take the, the decision. The point is, registrar has no real role in telling us what rules we ought to make. No. His only role is to tell hmm? that a rule which you are making should not be contrary to the constitution of India, to, to the principles which are contained in your own rules, <coughs> in your own act. That is the only thing we take And for that purpose, they are certainly intent to receive a copy of any changes or amendments they come from time to time. And they are okay to... Uh, what I am also saying. So the, it is said, it is said that the changes which, yes. have, which we have ever made have never been communicated to the registrar. Yes. That is a fault. We, we are we should to convey. We are bound to convey to them. Yeah, I am pointing out that only. Any changes between them? Okay. Let the discussion be on concrete points. I like to draw the attention of the House to clear directive of uh, the accreditation committee which has been summed up by Mr. Vishana, which happens to be there. You can ask him any question. But the agreed way forward after all the discussion, and they have summed up what they would like us to do. AGM should be held in December without having elections to introduce the necessary amendments to the present constitution of TII. Elections should be held in February based on the new amendments. Now, the second point, dissolve the present board and create an interim board till elections are held. Elections should be on the basis of the constitution where all members are allowed to vote and are allowed to stand for elections. And lastly, a statement of your intention should be sent by TII board to MEC on how they plan to implement the recommendations of, of MEC. Same members will stand. Same will remain because we have published it. We deleted from our minutes as well as from the bulletin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we will follow the election will be held. That will come. Will, uh, the item 4 is that confirmation of the last meeting will just... Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, we all accept it is, uh, proceedings. If there is no comment, uh, the, yeah. they are accepted. In, uh, item 3 is actually taken on decisions uh, in the last board meeting. Now, uh, there are one or two points. Uh, uh, See, Pandey had proposed that the evaluator shall be cleared before. Sir, before that, before that, actually, I'd like to add to this paragraph, duration of the board. And yeah. I've also sent my report to the second, not to be suppressed. Second, it's easier than the paragraph. We have come to the paragraph. In this report, Dr. Shah, please note down with the paper. You say that the paragraph. You have any financials for the very body, so I listed out a number of activities which every individual member on his own can undertake. But uh, maybe I am sure some of you must have been taking, undertaking those activities which you have allowed with this mandate which is project of good governance and dealing with corruption. If not, I will request you to do that and in case you want a copy of that letter, again we will send that to you. So, <coughs> so we have been uh, passing through some turbulent time for the last uh, six, seven months.
uh, we have been trying to deal with various issues. Some of those would come up during the discussion now. So the first point on the agenda is adoption of minutes of the last meeting. Anybody has any comment on the minutes of the last meeting? Please indicate your appendix in your report. Tell us if anything is to be done. 